my family has had... Port General Manager Joanne Brown has lived most of her life in the Pago Bay area, with generations of her family owning several pieces of property there as well. And so I've spent a lot of time since I was a little kid growing up in the Pago Bay area, and we, we value very much the quality of life that we've had there, and that's something we want to see and continue in the future. Brown says that, however, is threatened by plans to build a multi-story development within a 500-foot radius of her home. Guam Wanfang Corporation plans to build the Pago Bay Marina Resort. It's a project worth up to $90 million and consists of one 14-story and one 15-story tower with a total of 304 condominium units. Today, the Guam Land Use Commission is holding a public hearing on a zone variance request for height and density. For all the years that we've been in Pago Bay, uh, most of us, all of us, have maintained single-family residential homes, and, and we've respected each other in, in having that. And for this monstrosity of a project, I mean, they're asking for a variance to go from a three-story, which is the, the maximum height you can have there, to 14 and 15 stories. You know, we sacrificed Tumon uh, for that type of high-scale development. There's nothing comparable to it in our neighborhood. It would drastically change the quality of life of, of our community and, and drastically change the quality of life in our bay. Uh, and I certainly, as a resident, my family definitely is, is adamantly against this project. I mean, it has no business being in Pago Bay. And while the developers have called this a low-impact project, Brown believes this will change the total makeup of the entire community, many of whom called Pago Bay home for generations. And that's just not acceptable to us. I mean, this, this isn't intended for the local community. I mean, you don't build what they claim is an 80-plus million dollar investment uh, for local people to be able to even purchase a, a unit there to live in. And the fact is, it's totally disrespectful. They're going to essentially block the view for many of the residents that have lived there for many years and hog essentially the ocean. Or to Chalampago Mayor Jesse Gogui earlier this week raised issue over traffic congestion and safety the project may cause. He also had environmental concerns over how more than 30 percent of the property is a wetland along with endangered and protected plants at the banks of the river. Once you allow this kind of high-scale development, then you pretty much let the rest of the bay go because then that'll be the justification for the next development project and the next development project. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.